So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to the Global Watch International Prayer Room. It's Thursday, the 9th of September. It's six o'clock in the morning, Jerusalem time. And this is the break of dawn watch. It's also day four of the grumble fast. So I hope by now everybody's stopped grumbling. And we're on the, we're on the 21 day until journey together. And this morning it's the Tech Watch is hosted by Pray for Tech. Um, and we're just waiting for the chief tech to come on board. Um, we have Susie with us who can pick it up for us. So um, unfortunately, um, we don't have our normal hosts with us. Um, Fred and Sue are on a strategic initiative at the moment, so we're covering for them. So Susie, would you like to open in prayer while we wait for Tina? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rick and Diane. Um, thank, thanks everyone for joining. Um, I'm going to kick us off in prayer. Father God, we thank you so much for your presence in our midst. Lord, you are such a wonderful father. You love us so dearly. And Lord, we thank you that you are here in our midst. You said that two or three are gathered, there you are in their midst. And so Lord, we thank you that you are here in our midst. You're listening to our prayers. Jesus, thank you for mediating for us. And we just, we just praise you, Lord. How many other praises we lift for you? It's just, it's just mm -hmm. not enough, Lord. It's just not enough. We thank you, we thank you, we praise you, and we worship you. We thank you for this opportunity to get together here and pray for the technology industry. Be the watchman on the wall for the technology industry that, that has impact all across the world to the entire population. There is, even in the remotest parts where you, where you can't even find food, you have people with their smartphones. So Lord, this is making an impact and this is your idea. And we thank you, Lord, that your heart is for us to cry out for people to use the technology in the right way, for people to build the technology that can be used for your kingdom purposes, that, that the primary goal of that is to be used for your kingdom purposes. So Lord, we thank you for that and that your, this is your idea. Lord, you say the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. I'd say technology is of the Lord and the fullness thereof is, is his. It belongs to you, Lord. This entire industry, we stand in the gap and we claim it for you because it is yours and it, it is to be used for your kingdom purposes, for your kingdom to come and for your will to be done. Lord, I pray all these in your very precious name. Amen. 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 Um, so I don't see Tynan still. Um, I was hoping for him to do the worship. Um, would you bear with me for just a minute so I can pull up a worship song to play? If you don't, I have one ready. Oh, that would be great if you can play. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Um, so Tynan has joined us. Uh, I'm going to give a brief introduction about Tynan. Um, and Tynan, while you are getting set up, uh, after I introduce you, Michael has a little bit to share. So he's going to share and then you can take it off. Amazing. Um, so Tynan has danced and led worship in eight nations around the world. His heart yearns to see people fall more in love with the Lord through abandoned acts of praise. When not being a wild one in the Christian world, Tynan serves as a client success manager for a Canadian tech company. He's passionate about seeing heaven invade workplaces around the world too. And the Lord has led him to focus on creating content about the company culture space through his podcast. Um, and uh, Tynan right now is in Canada, 
uh, and uh, he is leading a worship with a group of tech people that are meeting up over there. So um, you will be blessed by Tynan's worship and his heart for the Lord. Um, Michael, uh, if you can share briefly right now. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, um, everyone. Uh, this morning, afternoon, and evening, I believe that the Spirit of the Lord just wanted me to just uh, remind us uh, very briefly uh, these thoughts that I just want to quickly share with us. Um, um, let me just say a word of prayer very briefly. Just share just about five minutes. Then, Thailand, you can come and take over. Let's pray. Father, we are thankful once again for the joy to be on this altar. We thank you, Lord, for the expression of your presence each time we come on this altar to lift up our voice to you, and especially and more importantly, to worship you. Your word said in Psalm chapter 22, verse 3, that you are the Lord who inhabits, you inhabit the praise of your people. And Lord, we are the people who are supposed to be a carrier of your presence into every space of influence that you have brought us into. And we are so grateful this morning that we can come on this altar, on this space also, to influence the world, to influence our society, our community, and even our generation. Spirit of grace, I welcome you right now to speak to us as we just go into your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Uh, very briefly, I, like I said, I just want to very briefly share with us, and the Tainan, uh, you will just go for it. Um, Looking at this scripture this morning, as you can see on my screen, in the book of Genesis chapter 1, just three verses, verse 1, verse 26, 27, and verse 28. The word of God says, then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle over all the earth and over every keeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Amen. Now, very briefly, uh, the Bible says in the book of Psalm chapter 11, the word of God says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The foundation is the most important part of any building because it is on that foundation that the whole house is built upon. When God was creating us as mankind, his agenda for us is that we will have dominion over every space, ever, every creation that he has created. And when we bring fast track, because of time, we fast track that into the, uh, the book of Psalm that I read earlier. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 22, the Bible says, he inhabit the praises of Israel. Another interpretation says, he inhabit the praises of his own people. So in other words, what God has designed us as man is to be a carrier of his presence. So that when we worship, when we use up the opportunity like China has brought and God for us this morning to lift up our voice and worship to the Lord and we bring down the presence of God, we carry his presence into every space of dominion that God has ordained for us. And then again, in the book of 2 Timothy, the Bible says, if any man will sanctify himself, or if God, he will be a vessel of the honor, sanctified, prepared, and make for the master's use. So these are the three thoughts that I just want to very briefly share with us this morning. That God has called each one of us to be an expression of his dominion, an expression of his presence, a carrier of his grace, so that in every space of influence, including the cyberspace, God wants us to dominate. God wants us to influence those spaces. And God has given us opportunities, those of us in the social media, not to be, you know, we always talk about who are you? Are you a tea, a bag of tea, or a potato, or an egg? And these are three elements that get influenced by the boiling water. 
When you drop egg in the boiling water, it hardens. When you drop a piece of potato in the hot water, it softens. But when you drop a bag of tea in a boiling, the same boiling water, the bag of tea spreads itself inside that boiling water and it influences that space. God wants us to be a carrier of his presence that influences all our space. We don't get hardened because of our space that we find ourselves. We don't become soft because of the space we find ourselves, but we carry the presence of the Lord into every space of influence that God has given us so that the aura of God that we carry spread over that influence, that space, and then the name of the Lord is glorified. I pray this morning in the name of Jesus that every single one of us on this platform may we be the carrier of his presence and to be able to express his dominion in every space. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. Tainan, it's your time. You go for it. How's it going? I'm so sorry for being late. We are in Kona, Hawaii, and apparently everything's on Kona time. So thank you for your understanding. Um, yeah, I'm so excited about tonight and just the fact that there's so many people from around the world that actually care about technology and the tech industry still kind of blows my mind. And so, you know, to be able to combine my love of passion, love and passion for, for tech and what God's doing there, um, but also, you know, to just be able to hang out with Jesus and praise him through worship, through music, through melodies, through harmonies. Um, that's really cool. So um, I'm not with my normal setup because I'm not at home. So you, you can let me know in the chat if like the sound is terrible, um, but we will do our best with like this little keyboard setup with a bunch of laptops trying to make everything work in a foreign nation to me as a Canadian. It's not, it's not like when I was in Rwanda, but uh, it's, it kind of feels like that in a way. So here we go. Matters, no, it doesn't. 
nothing in this world will do. Oh, Jesus, be the sinner in everything we revolves around you. It revolves around you. Let our lives revolve around Oh, everything we do Every decision we make Every thought we think Let them revolve around you You want every thought Every action Every deed Every promise we make to revolve around you. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters But aligning our lives around you When nothing else matters But aligning our lives around you You're the lifter of the lowly, and God, you lead me where I am. Your heart, it knows no borders, it knows no walls, it knows no bounds. Oh, you are constantly moving towards me with open arms. Yes, you are God, because I've never known a love like you. I've never known a love like you. I've never known a love like yours. I've never known a love like yours. Oh, Jesus, what a Savior, and what a brother, what a friend. It knows, it knows no borders, it knows no walls. You are constantly moving towards me with open arms. 
That's the promise that has proven true, yes it has, oh God. I knew you and me, we are your family, unity, that's our portion.
Trust that you will come through And as we wait on you That's when you renew Renew our strength Ooh. And we will walk and not grow of God come and rest your heads on the bosom of the Lord supernaturally can they perform these things asked of them so Jesus I ask you right now I ask you right now for supernatural abilities for the Christians and tech companies where they just feel like they're at peace it totally passes their understanding Jesus peace that passes their understanding Lord but it just is the solution it's the only resolve to the way that they've been working the way that they that they're demanded to work God, would you even just give supernatural strategies to us and so many believers in the tech industry to save time, to work more efficiently, to have supernatural results that when we put in effort, things come out multiplied. <laughs> Lift your heads, oh weary ones. Lift up your heads. Oh, you sons, lift up your head, oh, you daughters, lift up your heads, lowly ones, oh, come and lift your heads, oh, weary ones, lift 
Lift up your head, oh you sons. Lift up your head, oh you daughters. Lift up your heads, weary ones. You're not weary anymore because you have the Lord. He's your portion. He's your rest. He's your Sabbath. He's your shalom. And you can let him take over. You can let him step in. So, Father, we just come before you right now with hearts that are burdened for those in the tech industry. Hearts that can empathize with the pain and the sorrow and even some of the trauma that believers have just endured. Staying steadfast to you, Lord. But ever growing weary, some of them, I just see these ones that are on my heart, Lord. And so I just want to partner with you, what you've already loosed in heaven, to loose it here on this earth, Lord. And that is that peace that passes understanding over these weary ones. that they would indeed lift their heads, Jesus. That they would indeed come to this like realization that striving isn't the only option. Where they're so intent on being a light to their marketplace that they overwork themselves this beautiful heart position of, of wanting to be known through excellence in their workplace and make you known. It's so beautiful, Jesus. And yet their inner lights are growing dim in the pursuit of making you shine. And so God, would you just help us, help me, help so many of us that have gone through this thought process of saying, I want to make Jesus known at my company. And it kind of just feels like it's not always effective. We want it to be more effective, Lord. And, and God, so I'm just asking you for wisdom and discernment. For me, but so many of us who have prayed such similar prayers. You've heard them all. <laughs> and God, it's so cool that 
there's all these beautiful ones from around the nations who are lifting them up. I just see, I see all these people in tech companies growing one inch taller right now because a little weight is lifted off their shoulders because of this time right now. Thank you, Father, that it's not us that it's effective, but it's that you who, you know, take what we do, our small little tiny offering of praise, and it sets you on fire, and it sets you to work. It's so cool to see that you take, take what we give, our little offering, and you say, okay, great. As ones who have authority on this earth, that you gave to us, Lord. And then you partner with us. You are, we get to be your co-laborers. But God, let us not forget about the co. We're not just laborers, we're co-laborers with you. And would you just whisper that in the ears of so many in the tech industry over this next few weeks, Jesus, so that we would even just see a lightness come over so many of us. A peace come over so many of us. I'll give it back to you, Susie. Or whoever else. Thank you, Simon. Thank you for that wonderful word here. Um, I want to invite everyone to do popcorn style prayers with whatever the Lord has placed on your heart, laid on your heart, and just unmute yourself and pray into um, believers in the tech industry, pray for people who are pre-believers in the tech industry, and there's Christy, yay! <laughs> um, Christy, you've had a lot of love notes on the ch in the chat. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of love notes it's for you. It's so good to see you guys. <laughs> Okay, so so I, I invite you to um, just unmute yourself and please pray popcorn style any uh, anything that the Lord has laid on your heart. Christy, do you want to kick us off? Yeah, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your goodness, God. I thank you. You're ever so present. Father, we ask you right now for a John 15 lifestyle for God, for every single believer working and stewarding and creating new technology companies and, and platforms. God, we know that if we abide in you, God, you abide in us and ask whatever we wish. And God, we just ask you that your word would abide in us so tangibly so that the desires of our hearts, God, would just flow out, but they would be aligned to you, God. Um, your scripture is clear. Apart from you, Jesus, we can do nothing. And so I ask you, God, to position our hearts in humility, that we would recognize that an hour's worth of prayer is far above and beyond an hour's worth of work. And we would recognize that apart from you, Jesus, we can do nothing. God, we ask you right now to just pour out your spirit across your children, your sons and daughters. And we ask you right now for new revelation of what this looks like to abide in the vine. That you would produce fruit in and through us, God. That we wouldn't strive to produce fruit, but you are producing fruit in and through us. We say fall in love. <laughs> Beloved saints, fall in love, return to your first true love. May this not be a discipline or something we have to do, but it would be a unique privilege to fall more in love with our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, I'd like to pray as an 80-year-old recipient of the tech industry. I would like to thank you for your creativity that comes from the throne above as our African brother has said take dominion but I'd also like to declare the Lord Jesus Christ is exalted over the tech industry and we pray open up the gates so the king of glory can come into the tech industry that's what we're declaring right now and we're saying it's not by power, it's not by might, but it's by my spirit, 
So, Lord, I just pray refreshment, rivers of living water to all your sons and daughters whom you've selected to give us the voice. So the voice of the Lord can go forth in these days and, and bring millions to hear the gospel who would never hear it. And so we just give you thanks and praise and go for it. Just realize you are the king's kids, as they used to say way back. King's kids. Amen. Yes. <laughs> we, oh, I love that. Wow. Let the king of glory may come in. <laughs> wow. Psalm 24. Lord, I just want to thank you for those, Lord, that are coming in. Father, to seek the heart of God for the tech industry. We thank you, Father, for the logos and the, the Ramus word, the Ramus word of God to come upon each and every one. Father, individually and corporately. Father, that they would feel the presence and the anointing of God. Strategic design implemented in these ones, God, for such a time as this. And we bless the leadership. Christy, her team, God, we pray for the infilling of the Holy Spirit for strength and courage. Father, we thank you, Father, for, Lord, the steadfastness of the leadership of Jesus over each and every one of them. And we thank you for the fullness, Father, of the Holy Spirit with fire and the glory of God, Shekinah glory, to infiltrate them, each and every one of them, for such a time as this. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Abba Father, we agree with these prayers, and as Michael read earlier in um, Genesis, that you created all in your image, Father. You created all the tech people. You gave them the heart desire and the mental capabilities, Father. I just pray for restorative rest for them tonight, whenever their time is, of sleep is, and Father, that through your Holy Spirit, there'll be just an infusion of joy and refreshment and rejuvenation, Father. Things that might have baffled them yesterday will be answered today, Father, and that their lights will be overflowing and they'll just have a beaming um, surroundance of your Holy Spirit, the Shekinah glory that Julia and I prayed for, God. We just pray, God, and that you'll be glorified. We praise you and thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. I also want to pray um, uh, I'm just um, uh, just going to be like um, a follow-up to what I was sharing earlier on, uh, that God wants us to be influencers of every space that he has given us opportunity to be to be found. Um, when we look at the, the tech, tech space, it's a highly, highly competitive space. It's a highly competitive space that for us to really make an impact, uh, we need to be a vessel prepared and sanctified by the Lord. We need to be a carrier of his presence, imparted with the wisdom of God, knowledge, understanding that is from the throne of grace and anointed with the spirit of excellence. So Lord, these are the four uh, ingredients I don't want to pray into the life of China, the wife uh, and, and wife and the also, everyone that God has raised to be in the tech world, in the cyber world, to make an impact for the kingdom of Christ. But Lord, they will be a sanctified vessel, prepared and ready for the use of the master. The Lord, they will be a carrier of your presence. The Lord, indeed, they will be instrument of dominion and expression of your presence wherever they are. I also pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, because your word says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 2, verse 6. In Proverbs 2, 6, the word of the Lord says, For the Lord God gives wisdom, 
For the Lord God gives wisdom, and out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. So I just pray, O oh Lord, using China and the wife as a point of contact for everyone in the tech world who, uh, who, who are there as a representative, as an ambassador for God, as an ambassador for the kingdom. Lord, I receive for them the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And also, I also pray for the spirit of excellence. Lord, the Bible described Daniel as a man of an excellent spirit. Lord, in this very highly competitive space, Lord, for anyone to make a significant impact, a need to be a carrier of the presence of God, a man soaked with the wisdom of God, and a man that operates in the spirit of excellence. So, Lord, I receive this for Tyler, the wife, and every single ambassador we have in this space that represent the kingdom. Lord, we ask for open heaven. Lord, we ask, oh Lord, for the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, understanding upon them. Even the sevenfold spirit of God rest upon them as well. And Lord, we pray for the spirit of excellence, that excellent spirit that will make them to be unique and to be able to make an impact. Like that bag of tea that influences the space, Lord, help them to be people of influence to the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 We receive. Amen. So good. We receive. I want to pray. Uh, this is Phoebe. I want to pray that the people in the tech industry will be like the children of Issachar who understood the times and the seasons and knew what to do, and they did it. The Lord has closed the world so that the tech industry can go a notch higher, especially the Christians. So, Father, I pray for those you have called in the tech industry, that they will be like the children of Issachar, who understood the times and the seasons. Help your sons and daughters in the tech industry to understand the times and the seasons and what to do, and they'll go ahead and do it so that they can gain this influence all over the world, because this is the only technology that we use in order to influence the world. So I pray that they'll go deeper, they will not grumble, especially in this season when we are dealing with grumbling. Instead of grumbling, they'll be grateful that you are giving them an opportunity to soar higher, to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. In Yeshua HaMashiach's name I prayed. Amen. 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 You received us, Phoebe. Thank you. Amen. Um, yes. Hi. I keep on um, seeing uh, a burst of um, creativity above your heads. It's Ooh. like... A tornado. It's going round and round, and there's all sorts of beautiful words. Yes, exactly. There's all sorts of beautiful words inside there, and I feel like he's going to fill your mouth with these creative words to say to your unbelievers in your industry. And um, I feel like you're going to, um, you are even going to be surprised by what comes out of your mouth. It's going to be like that. You're going to say something and be like. But did I say that? And it's actually like the Lord speaking through you. Like he has anointed you for such a time as this. And it's just a case of going forth and obeying the Lord and what he gives you to speak, even if it maybe seems sometimes crazy or doesn't make sense. Uh, I just feel he's going to fill you up right now from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. It's just going to be like this holy anointing that's going to come out every time you speak. So Lord, I thank you for that anointing. And I thank you for these beautiful people who, who have such a heart for you. And it's like your heart grows all the time. And it's like almost like you can't contain it because, because you've got such a heart for people. And I thank you, Lord, for that heart 
that you've placed in them. You've placed your heart inside of them. And I thank you, Lord, that when they speak, it'll be with power and it'll, it'll touch the people. It won't make sense to them at first, but it will touch people that they talk to. And when they talk to people, it'll be like something is released into their lives, like God's word. And um, God's word never runs dry. So thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thanks, Amen. Abigail. Well, we're almost at the top of the hour, so I just want to thank Tynan and Susie. Thank you, all the tech teams that, that are here. Um, if you're just a tech user like the rest of us, what I'd like you to do is just extend your hand now as we pray for all these people in tech. And I just want to pray the ironic blessing over you guys. I can't think of a better way to ask for God's peace for his shalom upon you. So to all you who are working in the tech industry, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you, upon your families and upon your work. And may he give you his peace, his shalom, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. So thank you everyone for joining us today. And remember, no grumbling. OK, <laughs> so open your mics and bless everyone without a grumble. <laughs> bless everybody. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you,